All right, so we're working some more with our codon chart, and um, we're going to be working backwards from messenger RNA and then forwards from DNA, and, and we're going to give you these messages in different combinations so you get more comfortable. So it says there are more, these are more of a challenge. Work out the missing information using what you've learned. Hint, be careful with your uracils and your thymines. So just remember, if we're dealing with a DNA strand, then you have its A's and T's, G's and C's that you're writing. If we're dealing with an RNA, either mRNA or tRNA, that's when you're using U instead of T, okay? So let's try and work backwards from the messenger RNA to see what was the DNA strand that coded for this messenger RNA. So we're going to go back and see G pairs with C, okay? And if there's a U here, that means it was pairing with an A. So this should be CAA. And then if we look at the A's, we have AAC, A, in RNA pairs with T in DNA. So it should be TTG. <clears throat> and then we have UCG, and that means in DNA, U is going to pair with A, C with G, and G with C. So you should have AGC. And then we're going to take our messenger RNA codons and figure out what the anticodons are in transfer RNA. It's going to look very similar. This is kind of a hint. It's going to look very similar to what the DNA strand is, only it'll have U instead of T because the G will pair with C and then U will pair with A. So this again will be CAA. Now here this is going to be a little different. If we have A, it's going to pair with U in RNA. Um, so it should be UUG. And then UCG, again, is going to be very similar to the DNA, where it's going to be the AGC. The amino acids are already given to you, but I want to make sure you understand, whenever you're using this codon chart, this codon chart is meant to use the, D, or the RNA codons, not the anticodons. So you always use the RNA codons. If you look, G-U-U, -U, so here's G, and there's the second letter U, U, V-A-L is that amino acid. That's where they got it from. If you use the transfer RNA, you're going to get the wrong amino acid. So always use the messenger RNA. Okay, I want you to pause the video, and I want you to try number two, and then number three. And then you can click play and see how you did. Go ahead and pause. Okay, so for messenger RNA codons, they've given that to you here. We're going to work backwards and do the DNA strand, just remembering G and C always pair together. And then instead of a T in DNA, you're going to be, or I'm sorry, instead of a U, uh, you're going to be using T for DNA. So GGC pairs with CCG, and then we have CAU, C pairs with G, A pairs with T in DNA, and then the U pairs with an A. So we have GTA, and then we have AUU, and A pairs with T in DNA, the uracil in RNA pairs with an A in DNA, so we have TAA. And now we're going to figure out the anticodons. They're going to look very similar to the DNA strand, only wherever you see a T, it's going to be U instead. Okay, so we've got CCG again. Then we have GUA and then UAA. Now you have to figure out the amino acids. Please remember you're using messenger RNA. Use the blue letters. Don't use the transfer RNA. So I'm going to go and look at GGC. So G is our first letter on the left. G is the second letter at the top, so we're in this bottom right-hand corner. And then C is our third one. So GLY is the amino acid. Okay, our second mRNA codon is CAU. So we're going to start with C. We're going to go over to A for our second letter, and U is the top one here. So HIS is our next one. 
And then we have to make sure we use A, U, U. So here's A is our first letter, U is the second one, and then U over here is our third letter that's at the top. So A, U, U is I, L, E. All right, and we've got this next group to go. Now that we've been given the DNA, now here's where we can see how the DNA code controls, dictates what the messenger RNA is, which decides what the amino acid order is. So GGT, it's going to pair with CCA in RNA, and then ACA is going to pair with UGU, and then CGT will pair with GCA in RNA, messenger RNA. And then the anticodons, remember tRNA carries these amino acids, so they kind of go together, um, but transfer RNA anticodons, again, these are going to look very similar to the DNA strand, except you're going to have U instead of the, where the T's are. So we're going to have GGU, ACA is the same, and then CGU. And then we have our amino acids. GG, nope, I almost made that mistake. We have to use messenger RNA, CCA. So here's our first letter, C, C, and then A is pro. And then we have to make sure we're using messenger RNA, U, G, U. So here's our U. Here's the G, and U is at the top, C, Y, S. And again, make sure we're using messenger RNA, so GCA, here's G, here's C, and then A is ALA. How'd you guys do? Did you do all right? Hopefully you didn't make the mistake like I almost did with the transfer RNA.